All right, time for our Hurley Medical Center play of the night. We go back to Frankenmuth and, and Mr. Davin Reed. Check him out in the middle of the pile, breaking a tackle here and there, getting loose, getting the outside, and then uh, turning on the Jets and getting the end zone for the touchdown. Uh, Frankenmuth, no doubt about it, uh, they nope. are for real this year. And uh, of course, uh, let's, we take another look here at our Hurley Medical Center play of the night. And uh, Muth here just has a look right now that they have a deep run in them right now. Of course, the regular season is coming to an end next week. And then we jump into the playoffs, which is week seven. Everybody makes it. And uh, of course, it's going to get very interesting after that as we try to march towards the state championships, which are on the well, not the week at the weekend after Thanksgiving of this year. Uh, Jason, we got some scores to talk about. Yeah, Beaverton 35, Gladwin 29, a Corona tops Lake Fenton 28 to 20. Bad Axe with a big win over Laker High 27 to 6. Flint Kersley tops Flushing 26 to 19. Shepard beats Pinconning 12 to 7. And the big matchup in the metro area. Fenton 33, Swartz Creek 14, Unionville Seawing all over Vassar 45 to nothing. Scott, you talked about it being the final week of the regular season. It feels like the season just started. So it's, it's just a weird feeling right now that last week, next week will be the last week of the regular season. You know, and I hope that, uh, you know, the week after that everybody plays in that first playoff game, that I think that week eight, I think the teams that lose in week seven or out of the playoffs should schedule another game and have another bowl game, get another contest in. That's my advice to athletic directors and coaches. Get on the phones and start lining that up and get that extra game in afterwards because why wouldn't you? It's only going to be good for your program. We'll see you next week here on Friday Night Lights.